Chapter 7 of Iracema, The Honey Lips, A Legend of Brazil, by José de Alencar, translated by Isabel Burton. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter 7 Iracema threaded the trees, silent as a shade. Her sparkling eyes pierced through the foliage like starbeams. She listened to the profound silence of the night and inhaled the balm-blowing breeze. She stopped. A shadow glided amidst the boughs, and the leaves were crackled by a light step, unless, indeed, the report was the buzzing of some insect. Slowly the soft sound waxed louder, and with it the shadow became darker. It was a warrior. With one bound the virgin confronted him, trembling with fear and still more with wrath. Iracema, exclaimed the brave, recoiling. The Ayanga hath doubtless disturbed the sleep of Irapuã, that he has lost himself in the Jurema wood, where no warrior enters save by the will of Araquen. It was not the Ayanga, but the thought of Iracema, that disturbed the sleep of the bravest of the Tabajara braves. Irapuã hath descended from his eyrie, to follow up the plain the white crane of the river. He came, and Iracema fled from his gaze. The voices of the Taba related in the hearing of the chief that a stranger had sat under the roof-tree of Araquen. The virgin trembled. The warrior fixed upon her his burning eyes. The heart here, in Irapuam's breast, became a tiger's heart. It panted with rage. He came scenting the quarry. The stranger is in this wood, and Iracema accompanied him. Irapuã will drink all his blood, when that of the white warrior shall fill the veins of the Tabajara chief. Perhaps the daughter of Araquen may love him. The maiden's black pupils flashed in the dark, and a smile of contempt dropped from her lips, bitter as the gouts of castic milk which the euphorbia sheds. Never will Iracema give herself to the basest of the Tabajara braves. The spirit of Tupin alone fills her breast. Vile is the vampire that hides from the light and drinks the blood of the sleeping victim. Daughter of Araquen, provoke not the ounce. The name of Irapuã flies farther than the guana of the lake when he scents the rain beyond the mountains. Let the white warrior appear, and let Iracema open her arms to the victor. The white warrior is the guest of Araquen. Peace brought him to the plains of Ipu, and peace guards him here. Whoso offends the stranger shall offend the pajé. The Tabajara chief roared, lion-like, in his rage. The fury of Irapuã now hears only the vengeance cry. The stranger shall die. The daughter of Araquen is stronger than the chief of warriors, said Iracema, seizing the war trumpet. She holds here the voice of the Tupan god, who calls on his people. But she will not call, said the chief scoffingly. No, because Irapuã shall be punished by the hand of Iracema. His first step will be the step of death. The virgin, with one bound, retreated as much as she had advanced, and drew her bow. The chief still grasped the handle of his formidable tomahawk, but he felt for the first time that it was heavy for his strong arm. The blow that was about to strike Iracema had already wounded his own heart. He then knew how easily the strongest brave is, out of his very strength, vanquished by love. The shadow of Iracema will not always hide the stranger from the vengeance of Irapuã. Vile is the warrior who allows himself to be protected by a woman. Thus saying, the chief vanished amongst the trees. The virgin, always on the watch, 
returned to the sleeping Christian and guarded him for the rest of the night. The emotions so lately undergone agitated her soul and ripened all those sweet affections of her heart which the stranger's eyes had quickened to life. She longed to protect him from all peril, to shelter him as though she were an impenetrable asylum. Then, deeds following her thoughts, she passed her arms round the sleeping warrior's neck, and she pillowed his head upon her bosom. But when the joy of seeing the stranger saved from the perils of the night had passed away, the thought of new dangers about to arise caused her the liveliest disquiet. The love of Iracema is like the wind of the desert sands. It kills the flower of the forest, sighed the virgin. And slowly she withdrew. End of chapter 7